Speedster interview take one. This is your boy DJ Speedster. We out. This is my little baby. This is my little baby. It's a skate store. It's called the Skate Hub. This is literally like a childhood, a childhood dream, you know, um, coming to life. This is phase one of what I'm actually doing. But this is just a, a me planting the seed, you know, me, me saying, look, let's take the first, um, let's take the first step as to what we're working towards for the next five to ten years. And um, it's also me just moving into different spaces, as I mentioned. Um, I'm growing and I'm doing different things. So this is officially me, me moving into the business side of things, you know. Um, I'm not getting any younger, you know. So I'm slowly moving into the business side of things. Hence the podcast, hence Speeds in the Park, which aren't shows that I'm just presenting. Those are shows that I own, you know. So I'm moving into that space uh, as I quit the Hotman space now, you know, where, where it's like whatever I'm doing is not for 24 months, you know, it's, it's for the next five to 10 years. This is the Skate Hub, um, it's my brand new store. We're located at uh, number 17, 4th Avenue in Park Town North. I got my office in here where we run all operations for Speedster Productions, which is the company that runs the DJ Speedster brand. I've also got a DJ school that I'm building in here as well. So that's probably gonna be opening in January, where literally I'm gonna be letting the kids come, you come in, I'll teach you how to DJ. Yeah, it's a very interesting space, very interesting time, yeah. We actually are mainly a online store. So you could see the store as more of a showroom kind of a vibe. Hence, we're on the first floor. Um, most of our business, most of our sales are done through online. However, if you do live in Johannesburg and you'd like to see the flagship store, you're more than welcome to come, you know. That's how we created the space. Um, and again, the reason we created this, this, this space um, as a showroom is also because we've got the office here as well, you know. So um, that's why we're not just in a normal um, shop. It's been quite interesting. It's, it's quite interesting because um, I grew up on the skate park, you know. We grew up skating, whatever. And then as we were growing up in high school, we started doing like bad things at the skate park, mm -hmm. as any skater boy would. And then uh, my parents were like, no, you're not skating anymore, blah, blah, blah. Um, eventually the skate park closed back at home in the bar. So skateboarding became like whatever. I let it go, I let it go. But it would always be something that's there and I, I, I was always like, I need to get back to skating, you know. Ten years later, I got, I got back onto a skateboard. Me being me, uh, I was going to just skate. But then the moment I started skating, I thought, whoa, I don't just do things. I always try and find a way to make a business of my life. I'm back on the skateboard. How are we going to make this part of your life, you know? Because for me, it's like, how do I make myself uh, not feel bad when I'm skating for not being at work. You know, it's like you're skating the whole day, surely you should be doing work. You know, I feel bad, I'm like, ah, I should be doing something. So I was like, how do I flip this? How do I flip this thing and make this part of what I do? You know, um, that's what I've been doing my whole life. I take my passions and I turn them into business. You know, so that's exactly what's happening with this right now.